All right, we are officially opened up live here. We're going to double check everything and make sure it's all running smooth and share the stream out so that everybody's ears can benefit from the dulcet tones that we have planned for today. And uh, if I can get Facebook to go back to where I want it to go. Come on, baby. There we go. All right, there we are. So now we can share this out with the planet. Oh, Facebook, come on. What's it doing, Steve? It's like it loaded, then it stopped loading, and then it moved things around just as I was trying to hit the share button and oh, moved it. Mine's working. And now, oh, where'd it go? Well, I'm on the main feed. I'm not on my feed. So now I'm going to have to go. To, oh, it was right there in my main feed. So now i got to go to my personal feed to go find it. There it is. All right. So we're going to share this out to a few locations while you guys watch and learn. I don't know what you're going to learn, but. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Talk amongst so yourselves. Talk amongst yourselves as we do this. All right, so we're going to share this to uh, a few little places here that enjoy our lovely, lovely educational content. Edutainmental content. What in the world? Uh, yeah, okay, that's not good. Somehow my, my thing says, VMM 271, ranking videos in 2021, QQWEA. <laughs> and then the rest of the sentence. Yeah, that would be because I was playing with the the Q and the W and the A to switch between cameras, and it was still oh. on the text mode, apparently. So we'll, we'll save that out there. Well, folks, you're getting to see the craziness of it all. I'm going to save it to a couple more places, and then we will get ourselves started here. I'm going to save it out to my lovely Facebook pages so people can see that. And no, I don't want to add a button. Good golly. Facebook, just do what I want you to do, man. Oh, Come on. I hate when they do that. Gosh. They do it all the time. You know, the, and the thing is, is, they had that really great feature, too, where I could go in and say, share to this, 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 and this, and then they took mm -hmm. it away. Yeah. And so now, when I want to do the exact same thing, i got to do it manually. I'm still doing the same thing, but I'm doing it manually, <laughs> and then I forget which group I already shared it with, so then it ends up getting shared two times in some of the groups, because I can't Crazy. remember if I did that one yet or not. Crazy. But, all right, so we've shared to a few localities, so we should be ready to go. <sighs> As we get started, of course, everybody, be excited. We're going to talk about ranking videos in 2021, not in 2020, as I originally put it on there. But five minutes before the show goes, I'm like, wait a minute, it's not 2020 anymore, it's 2021. We're only in May. I, it's okay that I forget, I guess. It's only, you know, five sure. months, six months sure. almost. But, uh, yeah, so there Surely. we go. So it is uh, ranking in 2021, and we're going to talk about a few different things and, uh, you know, what you need for that. And, uh, Steve, we're ready to get the show on the road. Well, I believe so. All right. Well, then let's do it. Let's get ready in five, four, three. On today's episode of Video Marketing Madness, we're going to talk about ranking videos in 2021. And today's episode is made possible by our good friends over at Envato, who have the Elements program. Uh, what is the Elements program, you ask? Well, Envato Elements is where you can get all the stock media that you need for one low price. And that low price, only $200 for the entire year, and you're going to get videos. You're going to get images. You're going to get graphics. You're going to have video templates. You're going to get uh, CSS stuff, whatever that is. I don't even know. There's so much things in there. I don't even know. I barely know what CSS means. Okay, it's got uh, templates for your website. It's got uh, 3D objects and everything you could possibly imagine. If you need stock media, if you need all those other graphic templates, you got to check it out. Head on over to raythevideoguide.com slash elements, and you'll be able to jump on in there for $200 for the entire year. And just as a quick little story, I used to buy, all, well, I still technically because I do it through Elements, but I buy all my stuff through the Envato networks. So that would be Video Hive and Audio Jungle and uh, Graphic River and Photo Dune. And I used to spend between ten and $20,000 a year on stock media doing all the stuff for clients and for my stuff and everything else. And now I pay $200. Wow. Now how do you beat that? For from 10000 or 20000 or 5000 or 8000 all the way down to 200 bucks a year. And... Uh, with that $200, I do a lot more than I used to. My videos will have more stock footage and pace even faster because, you know, I'm not pinching every penny. Oh, I don't want to buy another $20 piece of stock footage. Well, I don't have to worry about that. I can just yeah, grab another right. element and put it in there. 
I can try different sound effects and different music, see what works, see what people like, because it's unlimited downloads, and you can do that now at Envato Elements by heading on over to raythevideoguy.com slash elements, and I've talked long enough, so let's hit that theme He's song. Ray the Video Guy, yeah, Ray the Video Guy, his skill is where it's at. Even if he's a little fat, he's filled with video expertise. And has so much knowledge that you need. His YouTube ninja tricks can make your marketing so sick. He's Ray the Video Guy, yeah, Ray the Video Guy. And it's the radio show about video now on Thursdays. Because yes, live on Thursdays because. Live on Thursdays. Well, because Fridays are a pain in the neck for me these days, uh, Thursday seems to be the better day. Yeah. More available. Of course, uh, what Steve doesn't know about Thursdays, or or this Thursday, was 10 minutes before the show started, I was at my house and I said, oh, crap, i got to get back over to the office. So, but <laughs> well, fortunately, it's because you live close to the office, huh? I do. Well, well, you know, I was talking to you this morning about the show, so it's not like I forgot or anything, but yeah, uh, yeah. Thursdays are my, my uh, networking days. So in the morning, I go to rotary meetings, and then I come back here, get a few things done, and then I run down, I do a networking meeting in the afternoon, and then I run back home, and then I get over here. And then uh, right now, in the meantime, we're actually short-staffed, as I guess everybody is in every type of business. Uh, so... I run the escape room on Thursdays, so I got to be back here by three o'clock anyway. I get out of my networking meetings about twelve thirty to one, so I can drive back and be there. You know, be back at one thirty, two o'clock, and it actually forces me to get out of the networking meeting on time and not hang around and waste time. But I had to stop at the supermarket, and then I stopped at home, and then Steve said, "Okay, are we ready?" And I was like, "Oh crap!" And then I, you know, jumped in the car and raced back over here, and now we're ready to go. Exciting stuff. Uh, I'm sure you guys are very interested in all of this, right? All right, Steve, I interrupted you with your intro, so feel free to continue on. Oh. uh, Apple Podcasts. Apple Podcasts. Yeah, we like (laughs) reviews there. Our homepage is govmm.com. That's got all the podcatchers and uh, the social medias and all that good stuff. That's right. And don't forget YouTube. If you like to see our luscious faces on your screen and uh, really delight the eyeballs, well, you can always watch this on YouTube, or you can watch it live here on Thursdays, but you can always go to YouTube and watch it there as well afterwards. In fact, you could you could go over to YouTube right now, the VMM YouTube channel, and spend the next 30 hours or so watching. In fact, actually, probably more like 200 hours. Yeah, yeah. It's got <laughs> 200 everything. 200 right hours there. straight of seeing my luscious mane. Mm. It's got it's got stuff that's not even on the podcast channel. Some of the really old podcasts from the Block Talk Radio oh, days are up there. That's yeah. amazing. So, yeah, yeah we, we this is episode uh, two seventy one, but realistically, it's probably more like about three fifty or so because we weren't taking count at the beginning, and uh, you know, and I, we probably goofed up the numbers here and there, and uh, you know. Yeah, that was no big deal because we we're trying to figure out what this thing was going to be back then, and there, That's there right. were some shows right. that weren't all that good. But um, and by the way, anyhow. it started as weekly webinars. That's right. Was what it, it originally did. was, and it and because yeah. that was before podcasts were really, uh, you know, uh, the thing. Um, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm sure they probably existed at that point, but they they weren't, uh, you know, they weren't what they would become. And so we actually started it, it, the reason, the entire reason this show started. Steve, do you remember why? I had to go to meeting and I wasn't using it, and I said, "Well, <laughs> I got it for a let's year. Do let's do something use with it. it. <laughs> yeah, let's do something with it. I bought it that for a year. Exactly I wasn't it. using it. I have no idea why I bought it. I don't even remember. But uh, <laughs> I, I got yep, it. Steve got a just had to go to webinar. So yeah, let's do I something with it. All right. Yeah. In fact, he called. He had called me on the phone. I didn't even know you then. I mean, I knew yeah, of you. Yeah, you know, we kind of yeah. online. I knew your name and kind of who you were, whatever. But he called me on the phone. I was in a hotel at the time. Uh, right. I don't remember where. I think I was just on with my family out, you know, at a lake or something like that. And okay. You All called right. me, and, and I was in a hotel room, and uh, you asked me that. I'm like, yeah, let's do it. That's great. So in the next <laughs> week, there it goes. <laughs> and now, eight years later, I don't even know. How, how long has it been? It's been a long time. Uh, 2013. So. June of 2013. Yeah. Really? Holy cow. As it is eight years. Jeez. Yeah, you that is crazy. Right. Yeah, I was I was right. throwing that out there thinking it was probably five, but uh, you know, just throwing out there a big number. But uh, yeah, eight years—that's crazy. I'm, I don't even know how you remember the dates, but uh, that's pretty. I impressive. don't either. 
I don't either. It's just for some reason that sticks, you know. And um, Yeah. Well, um, speaking of sticking, we're going to talk about how to get videos to stick to the top of the search engines. That's YouTube, Google, and any other search engines, I guess, that show videos. There are a few more out there. Mm-hmm. But uh, I wanted to bring this up today because uh, going back to 2013, things were a whole lot different when it came to ranking videos. And I used to rank videos back then, I think. My first How to Rank a Video course was actually back in about 2013. And uh, believe it or not, and I still swear this is the case, and it may not be, I may be wrong, but I don't think anybody had put out any courses on Warrior Plus or JVZoo or any of those marketplaces about ranking videos. I believe I was the first one. I bought and, it. Uh, yeah, and back then, back then, do you remember, Steve, what we did to rank videos back then? Yeah, we, did, we created a lot of uh, uh, backlinks. Uh, we we we'd optimize the video when we uploaded it. Uh, we created a lot of backlinks, and we could buy like views on Fiverr and backlinks on Fiverr. And some of those backlinks on Fiverr are still probably good. Sure, yeah, some uh, of those are not not a bad thing. And uh, we we could buy subscribers on Fiverr too. Yes, and, we could. We could buy and, subscribers and views. Yeah, yeah, I, I used to it. use software. So so basically, well, there was two things. One thing back then was we talked a lot about. Uh, it was Meta Cafe and Daily Motion that we would oh, rank right. almost instantly. Yeah. And so the, the technique back then was you did Meta Cafe and Daily Motion, and literally within five minutes, you could be at the top of page one on Google. Now, it wouldn't last. That would probably go away in about a week or so. But yeah. you also optimize the YouTube video at the same time. And so as that was dropping off, the YouTube video would go in there and replace it. And we did. We would. I had, uh, I had software that... <laughs> I played, paid probably like $10 a month for it or something like that. I can't even remember some of the names of them. And we'd go in and, and go, oh, yeah, this video, uh, get me 10,000 views. And by the next morning, you'd have 10,000 views and you'd be at number one on page one. Mm-hmm, <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. And then the hammer came down and that was the end of all that kind of fun stuff. But Yeah, it, it, it's gotten progressively tougher to, to rank videos on Google. I've... Uh, I've I've sort of given up on using YouTube for that. Now, what it, YouTube is great for is building uh, authority backlinks and citations. Oh, and absolutely. Stuff. So I, I haven't you given can, up on YouTube by any means. No, and and you can still. I I did uh, some videos yesterday, and uh, they I did four of them, and uh, for my keyword oh. on Google, all four of them showed up on page one. Yeah, yeah. So literally, yeah. the top of page one is my four videos. And then all the other information. And it was for a product. So uh, hopefully people are searching for that product and seeing my right. videos at the top. And jumping exactly. In, so. And that, that's a great application was affiliate marketing. If you've got a product and you're the first one out there with the video before it becomes competitive. Oh, I wasn't and, the first. I just kicked everybody's ass. Well, you know what to do. <laughs> you know. Hey, you know. there we go. That was the first swear word ever in the history of VMM. There you go. Well, you know, I uh, at one time, <laughs> I did... Uh, videos put up a ton of videos for a DUI lawyer in Jackson, Mississippi and he is still on page one with the, in the, a three pack of videos for best DUI lawyer in Mississippi nice. um, I haven't been able to replicate that but you know that was but that one <laughs> that many years ago and it's just gotten tougher no. and tougher you know yeah you know it's, it's weird because it seems like YouTube goes through these phases and um all of a sudden, they want to show videos on every search, and then all of a sudden, there's none. And then yeah. all of a sudden, yeah. everything yeah. you do gets onto page one, and then it's gone again. And then yeah. they show it a certain way, and then they change it, and they show those little square boxes of videos. And then they get rid of those, and they go back to the other ones. And And there's a new thing now, Stephen. I don't know if you've seen this yet. I took uh, some screenshots of it. I haven't talked about it yet. But um, when you search on Google now, now this is not on YouTube. This is on Google. If you search a subject and a video comes up, if that video has the little chapter marks, it'll actually show the chapter marks on Google on page one. So if you looked up, you know, how to, I don't know, how to how to bake cookies, you'd have that video show up on page one and underneath would have all the chapter marks, you know, mm-hmm. and those chapters mm-hmm. could be like step one, step two, step three, step four, and they could jump in right on Google and go right to those different chapters. And I've only recently started seeing that. Um, so it is something new, and, and I'll be honest, my videos are usually very short, so I don't do a lot of chapters with them, but uh, I may start doing that now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I, that, I, do use them in, uh, I do use them in the escape room marketing, and uh, the way that I use the chapters for that is um, 
one technique that helps with with video marketing is and if anybody doesn't know how to do this so let's say that uh, let's say you've got a five a video that says five steps towards doing whatever step one if you go into your description and if, let's say step one starts at 10 seconds if you put zero colon one zero and then put you know whatever then that'll be a chapter marker on your video and in your description you'll have a little chapter marker there so if you do that it's actually a good SEO benefit it gives you more opportunities to kind of keyword stuff without it look like you're stuffing so in other words like if you were if it was the five steps to baking chocolate chip cookies you could put 10 seconds step one uh, how to bake chocolate cookies you know whatever and then step two how to bake chocolate cookies blah 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 and then step three blah 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 and and you use that keyword over and over again it doesn't look like your keyword stuffing even though you kind of are but that'll give you those chapters in there as well so people can jump around which is kind of nice and uh, you know people that really know how to use YouTube as a user not necessarily as a, a, a content creator but as a user they, they like those chapters um, you can control them from your keyboard and, and everything else mm -hmm. so you don't have to uh, necessarily um, click on things so it, it, it can be very cool so using those chapters will help but let's talk a little bit about ranking videos specifically because obviously some of the things we just threw in there uh, are a part of that process but let's talk exactly what we can do to put our video in the best light to make sure that it gets um, you know better rankings on YouTube better rankings on Google and so the first thing that we want to make sure that we do is we want to make sure that we know what the keyword is we're going after. Now, with a video, you can go after a lot of different keywords, and you could probably show up for a lot of different keywords, but you need to have that one major focus keyword that you can really put everything, you know, put, put your eggs in that basket. And then if you rank for other things, that's great. But you can, of course... You know, if, if you want to, let's go back to our chocolate chip. If you want to, if you want to rank for how to bake chocolate chip cookies, well, you might have your video and, and maybe your keyword is how to bake chocolate chip cookies. Mm. Uh, probably a very difficult keyword, by the way. I just, I haven't looked it up. Yeah. I just made it up. But, yeah. but if you want to go after a few other things, you can take your video, maybe mix it up a little bit, change some of the colors and the graphics or whatever, make a second video that specifically goes after a slightly different keyword, you know, mm. um, whatever it is best best chocolate chip cookies in the world is your keyword for that one and you can do a second video now you're splitting your audience a little bit but you're getting better rankings with multiple keywords so you kind of have to think a little bit about that for local marketing we love to do that we love to have multiple uh, videos that are very similar that are going after slightly different keywords for different things you know one specifically going after escape room Loganville and another one going after uh, Loganville escape room and maybe another one going after uh, um, things to do in Loganville you know go after those individual keywords and and start putting those videos out there for that but the way that we rank with that is know that one major keyword that you're gonna go after because that's what you really need to focus on and so where we're going to focus on that uh, is in the description and in the title and also in the tags. And we'll talk about tags in a minute. Tags uh, can be useful. They're not what they used to be, but uh, they certainly are still useful. So your title, what do you want to put in your title? Well, I always tell people you want to start with your keyword and then do your branding. So in other words, uh, if, um, if, if I want to rank for the escape room, uh, I might say escape room Loganville. Okay, which is my keyword, or Loganville Escape Room, be my keyword, but that's not the name of the company. So that's the keyword. And then if I've got room, I might put the phone number in there in the title. Some people say not to do that. I've never had issues with that. I've done it for years, never had a problem putting phone numbers in there. I like having it in there. So I'll put the keyword, the phone number, and then the name of the company. So it might say like uh, Loganville's Best Escape Room, if that's my keyword, the phone number, and then Impossible Escape Loganville. And the reason we want to do that is you always want to get that branding in there as well because that, you know, there is a thing called branded searches. Once people kind of know that you're out there, they're going to search you by your name and you want to make sure that all of your stuff has that in there so that it's easily, uh, you know, they can find it very easily. So once you have your keyword, your branding inside of your title, you want to go into the description. Now what I do in the description is I immediately put the keyword. So again, if it's if it's uh, Loganville Escape Room, then the first thing in my description is Loganville Escape Room, and then I'll put just a little blurb of some kind. So it might be uh, something like, uh, if you're looking for the best escape room in northern Georgia, then head over to Impossible Escape. 
Um, keep it short, and I'll tell you why you keep it short, because then you're going to put your, your website and your phone number again. So it might say, you know, check out North Georgia's uh, number one escape room. Visit the website and then or call and then the phone number. And the reason we want to get that in right away is because aside from, from ranking videos, we're also trying to make this user friendly and also get the benefits that YouTube provides to us. And by having that website and the phone number right near the top, mm -hmm. when people open that video, they don't have to hit that more button. And the last thing you want people to do is to have to hit that more button. So you want to make sure that your phone number and your website are above where that more button would be. So in the first two to three lines of your description, you want to have that in there. And of course, with your uh, website, you want to put the HTTP colon backslash backslash, otherwise it won't be clickable. So put that in there, make it a clickable link. So even if they don't hit the more button, they're still going to be able to click that link and go directly to your website, which is of course, you know, at the end of the day, what we really want people to do is to contact us so they can buy from us. So get that phone number and that website right up at the top there. And the other great thing about this is by putting the phone number near the top and by putting it in the, the title, when people are searching on Google and they're only going to have a very tiny little bit, they'll still see your phone number and they'll be able to call you right from that. And we used to get a ton of that, um, even on, uh, on the, the maps. If you've got your phone number right there, people will call you even if they don't watch your video. They're gonna they're looking up what you do. They see your video there. It has the phone number. They pick up the phone and they just call without even watching the video. So by doing that and ranking, you get that extra benefit. Uh, again, having the phone number there does not help your ranking, but if you're gonna rank, you gotta have that stuff there because what's the use of ranking if people don't know how to call you or click your website? So be sure to do that. All right, after putting in the keyword, the little blurb and then the phone number and the website, then what you want to do is put a brief description about what that video, you know, on, on what that video is about. So if it's about the Loganville escape room, and let's say it's about a specific room in there, so it's about our, our we've got uh, one room called uh, the beach escape. So if the video is about the beach escape, the next thing might be a little bit of information about the beach escape and what it is and why they would want to play it, okay? That information is going to be relevant to the video because you want to make sure that your description is relevant to your video. It's going to help out. Um, it's also going to give you some of those extra keywords when people are searching for specific things. And then after we put in that information about that particular video, then I like to put information about the business. So this is where the next thing might be something like uh, Impossible Escape. Loganville has been around since 1825. Uh, we've had 8 billion people served. And here are the rooms that we have. And then I'll list all six of our rooms there. And that way we've got information about the business, which again is searchable. All of those things have keywords in them. You got the name in there again. Once we get past that, now this will change depending upon what you're doing. If you're a local business, next thing you want to do is get in your name, address, phone number, website again, and what that's going to do is that's going to build you citations that are going to help you with your Google My Business. Uh, may or may not really help you with ranking the video itself, but you want to get that information in there. And the other thing too is by mentioning the business over and over again, you know, theoretically you're the only business with that name. So now what happens is all your videos that keep mentioning Impossible Escape Loganville, Impossible Escape Loganville, that's going to relate those together. So in the related videos on the side, you have a much greater chance of your videos showing up on the side so that people will click on more of your videos uh, as opposed to the competition or just random things that they might be interested in. So that's, that's why we love to do that. Uh, and sometimes I'll even throw in you know, a very unique word. Like I used to put uh, Ray the Video Guy as one word, no spaces in there, or hashtag Ray the Video Guy. That draws all of my videos together because no other videos are really going to have that. Mm -hmm. They have no reason to have that. So that'll help to relate those videos together. Okay, now we've got the description in there. You got your name, address, and phone number in there for the, for the citations. Um, if you've got links to Facebook and all of your other different social medias, throw that in there as well. Again, that's not necessarily going to help you to rank, but you want to make sure that your description is really good and that it benefits you. So get links to those other places in there as well. And then one of the things that I like to do is to end it with the keyword again. And the reason that I do that, and this isn't as relevant as it used to be, um, when 
people take a video and, or even if you do it or if somebody else does it and they take that video and they share it to another place, a lot of times it'll truncate that description. So on some website that people share it to, the video shows up and it'll just have like a little blurb and a lot of times it'll have the beginning, dot, 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 and then the keyword at the end. And so by doing that on those embedded places, you're getting that keyword in there a couple of times and, and hopefully ranking there so people will see your video in places where it gets shared as well because that's just as relevant. If people watch your video on another location, another website, it's still gonna count as a view especially now because you, you, they can't even set autoplay. Uh, autoplay used to not allow you to gather views, but now without autoplay, people have to hit the play button. That gives you views. Views are gonna help with ranking as well. Okay, so that's your description. Again, make sure you get as many keywords in there as you can. If you've got the ability to do chapters and little chapter marks in there, do that. Again, at, at, you know, if step one is at one minute and three seconds, put zero one colon zero zero, step one, blah, blah, blah and use a keyword in there to describe it. And then step two, step three, whatever it happens to be, get those keywords into those. Uh, again, it, it kind of allows you to do a little bit of keyword stuffing without it looking like you're doing keyword stuffing. Mm -hmm. um, one thing to avoid, and I hesitate to say this because it does work, um, but usually only temporarily, and then you get yourself into trouble. Um, a lot of people will put their description and then they'll just list a bunch of keywords. Just literally put a list of keywords. That can be very effective, but it can also get your video, you know, booted out. Uh, one thing that I've done to try and mask that is uh, put something like, um, you know, uh, search for our business with the following keywords as if it's something I'm helping them with. You know, um, whether a, a Google bot would, uh, would, you know, know the difference of whether I put that or not, I don't know, but I have done that before. Um, it, it is effective, but again, you know, that's one of those slightly, I mean, it's not black hat, it's definitely slightly risky. It's not even gray hat, really, but it can be risky to do that, um, but it can also be quite helpful, so, um, you know, why not? Uh, another little trick that we do, and to be honest, I, I don't know if this really has much of an effect anymore, um, but it's something we've done for ages. This is a trick that used to work really well back in the day, probably still does is I'll actually put a link to that video in its own description, okay? And so I'll do it something typically that it'll say, uh, share this, and then I'll put the keyword again, so, um, you know, Loganville Escape Room video, and then I'll put the link to that video. Now the reason we do that is because now if somebody shares that video out to another location and it brings that text information, it now has a backlink to the video itself. So people, anybody that shares your video or embeds your video, or if you embed your video, you're literally building a backlink back to your own video at that point. And so that can be an effective thing to do. So we always do that. Uh, I also like to then put, uh, see some of our other videos, put links to some of the other videos in there. And what that's gonna do is that's going to help each video to kind of build on it on the other videos. Um, we also do something called siloing which is a very similar thing where, let's say I've got 10 videos, video number one will say, be sure to check this out, and then have video number two. Video number two will say, be sure to check this one out, video, link to video number three. The next one has a link to video number four, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And then at the end, it'll link back to the first video. And so it's got this loop, okay? So that can be effective. You can do either one of those things. I like to put a couple videos, so I kind of hybrid the two things. So I'll, I'll put the next video, but then I'll put a few other videos in there as well and then kind of link them all together that way. And it just spreads the love around between the different videos because you're gonna have one video that may be hot and then the other one's not so much and so you can kind of share the love with that and hopefully get all of them to rise better uh, and that would be a good thing. So yeah. that's another little trick you can do there. Um, this is a little out of order. I do wanna go backwards for one second. One thing that has been a hot debate but I still think it is something that is, has a little bit of effect, and I'll tell you why I think it has an effect. Um, naming your actual video before you upload it to YouTube with your keyword can definitely have an effect. Uh, again, I, I say definitely, but that's my opinion. Some people have said, no, I don't think it does anything. Uh, I totally think it does because I've seen where videos might be labeled with a keyword you upload it to there and you know you haven't even done any SEO work to that video and it still shows up with that keyword when they don't know what that keyword is. Right. If you understand what I'm saying. Yeah, I do. So I, I do believe it does have an effect. Um, another thing that you can do beforehand as well 
is if you take that video that you've just created, if you, and um, I apologize, I'm a Mac guy, I don't know a whole lot about Windows, you can do this in both. If you go to the information for that video, you have the ability to add notes and tags and things like that to the video before it uploads, metadata. Put in metadata with your keywords and whatnot before you upload it, and that can make a big difference too. Yes, Steve? PC, what you do is you, let's see, let me try it. Let me actually do it live because <laughs> I, I don't remember. I, I just do it. And I don't know how to describe it. You can right-click on it, go to Properties. Properties, uh, yeah. Okay. Under General, you can name it. And then under Details, uh, you can uh, name put the title in, put a keyword in, and, and a citation under Comments. So if you yep. go to Details, there's Subject, uh, Title, Subject, Comments, um, and uh, it titles uh, self-explanatory, subjects the keyword, it could be the same thing, comments is a citation, and then uh, you can look for, uh, I, I forget what field I use, but there's fields where you can also put in the lat long for the, for the business. Right. You want. Yep. And then, uh, and I know on the Mac side, there's also the ability to add tags. So in liter literally oh. keywords into there too, and cool. that'll go with the metadata on there, and and can you know potentially help. Uh, the way I see it is, uh, it's a tiny bit of extra work that potentially could help you out. And if it doesn't, well, you didn't you know no harm no foul. The video is now uh, metadata metadata. That's not a word, but has metadata and uh, has those tags in there. So well, uh, could be know, useful when you're looking for it on your hard drive later too. So you why know not? for. For uh, uh, when we upload images to uh, GMB profiles, Google My Business profiles, we do that with those yep. images, and they have to. It's be the same. It's the exact same thing. That metadata. Um, yeah. Some people debate whether YouTube cares about that metadata or not, but as long as well, it's there, it, it uh, is you know, Google. Why not? And you know, I mean, mm -hmm. it's a best practice to do it with GMBs, and Google yep. owns YouTube, so. I don't know. Yep. You know. So it, it's it's just it's an easy thing to do that that may provide you a little bit of benefit. So you do that, you upload your video, follow the title and description stuff that we just talked about, and that's going to that honestly in many situations with many easier keywords that might be enough to get you to the top of YouTube and Google just by doing those things right there. Uh, obviously, anything difficult, you know, we're going to need to do more, um, but. Just that alone can be a big part of that. So now let's talk about what we can do after we get this information in there. So we've got our video up there. It's optimized properly. Uh, we've made sure that everything is set up. The next thing that I like to do is make sure that it's added to a playlist. And this may not help that particular video to rank, but what you have is the opportunity to put that video into a playlist with other videos, go to the playlist, and again, use that same type of, of uh, technique for putting in the title and description inside that playlist, and now you've got another item that could rank for that keyword as well. So you're kind of doubling up your opportunities there. Um, the next thing, of course, the tags. In your tags are kind of like keywords. So put in, you know, some people say just a handful of tags. Personally, for me, I, I like to fill it up. I have, you know, I don't have a problem with putting a lot of keywords in there, a lot of tags in there. So tags would be all the different types of keywords that would kind of reference towards your video. Um, you can be very general and you can be very specific. So in my case, I might have a tag that's, you know, um, Loganville Escape Room, but then I might have one that's just Escape Room because that's still what it's about even if, you know, it's a lot more general. So get in there, put in those tags, make sure those are set up properly, save all of that out, and now you've got a video that's ready to rank. It may already start ranking pretty well fairly quickly, but there are some things we can do to help with that process. Now the first thing that I always do when I upload a video is I start to do what's called syndication. Um, and what that is is where you take your video and you put it out to lots of different sites. That would be to your, social, your personal social media sites. You're going to put it out to um, you know, all the, the social bookmarking site, sites, out to blogs. If you've got a private blog network, this is where you would put it out to the private blog networks. And there are some great softwares out there that do this. In fact, one of the reasons that uh, we're doing this particular topic today is we just had a, a new software or a new version of a software come out uh, today that is really, really good for this. It's been very popular for quite a while. Um, it's DFY Suite version three, and it does all of this for you. And 
it works. It just flat out works. I've already been using it for a while, but I've been using the third version the last couple of days and seen great results almost instantly. So it's a very popular way to do that. But what you're trying to do is you're trying to get your video out to all the different sites. And the reason for that is when you get your video out onto Facebook, it's, you know, and it's linked back to that YouTube channel. When you get it out to uh, Delicious or one of those bookmarking sites, it's got a link back to your website. You get it embedded into different places onto blogs and blog networks. All of these are linking back to that YouTube video and it can make a big, big difference. Um, and in fact, I, I believe I've told this story before, Steve, on the show back years ago, but, um, and I told it yesterday, I did an interview with, with Josh Zamora who created a DFY Suite. And back a few years ago, I, uh, I was trying to rank for a product. It was called Profit Pirate. And remember the name, Profit Pirate. In fact, I think the uh, video, I think you if you search that up, I think. You were a pirate. No, that was a different too, one. That was a different oh, one. Oh, that was no, a different one. No, that was a totally different one. This was, this was right. long before that. Uh, if, but if you look up Profit Pirate now, a Profit Pirate bonus or review or something, I think we still show up on page one. It's from like 10 years ago, nine years ago, eight years ago or something. But um, when I did that, I was always ranking really well when I would try to do these affiliate products, and I wasn't ranking well with this. It didn't show up on Google at all. I'm going two, 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 10 pages deep, nothing. I'm like, why is this video not you know, hitting anywhere on Google? It didn't make sense. It was number one on YouTube. Well, what I realized is I looked through things, and I looked back at my social syndication software at the time, which at the time was um, only Wire, and... I noticed there was no entry in there for that particular video. So I didn't do that step, which was the social syndication. So I went into OnlyWire, and OnlyWire, essentially what it does is you log into one place, you put your video in there, you put your text, like an article of some kind, which usually I just use the description for the video and put that in there. And then what it does is it does all that social syndication, sends it out to your Facebook, sends it out to Twitter, sends it out to Delicious and Digo and Dig and you know all these other social syndication sites. I went in and did that, hit go, and I decided to record the process. I, I have the video somewhere. I should pull it out someday and see if I can find it. But I recorded this and started off saying, hey, I forgot to do this. We're going to see if this social syndication stuff works. Literally, I went from not being on Google to being number one on page one in about three to five minutes. Wow. And it was only the social syndication that I did different. Everything else I'd already done, I was ranking on YouTube. I did the social syndication and shot right to number one on page one of Google for the keyword when I wasn't there at all. So it can be a very, very powerful tool. And if you can get in there and, and do social syndication, you gotta do it. Um, uh, Josh's software, like I said, it came out today. Uh, if you go to um, uh, raythevideoguide.com slash DFY3, that will take you to that product. You can kind of see, I, I've got some videos and some trainings on there. Um, and what's great about it is That'll rank your videos very well. It'll also help you with websites, GMBs, anything you want to rank. But, you know, mostly uh, I've always used that kind of stuff for videos, but uh, we use it for GMBs now too. Um, big help. Big, big help. And uh, really makes a, a huge difference with that. So uh, the other thing you can do, we talked about it earlier, is getting traditional backlinks. Doing the social syndication is going to get you backlinks by nature, but you can go out and specifically do backlinks. Again, you know, there are people on Fiverr. Look for people on Fiverr that, you know, have good ratings that'll do a bunch of, of decent backlinks for you because it's a YouTube, it's a it's YouTube. It's a Google property. It's got high authority. It's you know, it's not going to get banned very easily as far as um, indexing and whatnot. So you can throw some of these nice links to it, and that's going to be a big help. So I highly recommend you check that out. Go in there and do that. Um, the other thing that you want to do, and Steve, you and I use a, a great program called uh, VidPenguin. Mm -hmm. And what that does is it's a very unique software in that what it does is it goes in, you put in your video, and it goes and it finds all of the various versions of the YouTube video. So for instance, when you upload a video, the traditional link is www.youtube.com slash V slash watch slash the number of the video. So that's one URL. Well, you also have like YOUTU.BE slash the number of that video, the, the call sign of that video. So that's another link that goes to that same video. Well, YouTube has a whole bunch of these links that all point to the same video. 
VidPenguin goes and grabs all of those links and then goes out and indexes all of those links for you. Okay. And so now you get all these links for that one video. There's like 32 of them usually. And it'll also make a bit.ly link that points to that video. And then it'll go out and it will try to index all those links, which is going to send all that juice to that video. And that can be a big help as well. Great program. Um, you know, Steve and I have both used that one for ages, and it, and it mm-hmm. does a very good job. Um, but that just helps you to index that stuff out. And, of course, you want to index the actual video itself, which is nice. And uh, going back to uh, Josh's program, if you – have that program it actually has the option to do um indexing of all that those uh social links that you create all the uh syndicated links it'll index those as well so now you're really starting to build that up and uh you know it can make a big big difference to uh your video getting ranked on mostly in this case that's that's a a a, a google thing help you with there because uh, youtube doesn't care about a lot of that stuff uh the other thing that can help especially with youtube is getting more views in the past, we told you the ways we used to cheat to get views, and uh, there are some ways you can still cheat. I don't know if cheat's the right word. I'm, I'm not going to call it cheating um, because it, it's using real people. Basically, it's asking real people to go and watch your video, uh, which is a little different than in the old days. It was literally bots. You'd, you'd say, I want 10,000, and these bots would go out and do it. Um, what we have now, what we use is, uh, is Video Viper. Mm-hmm. And you put your video into there into the video Viper, and then a bunch of different people will watch the video and build those those views up nice and quick for you. And uh, they'll even like your video for you and, and do all that, which can be a big help um, because YouTube loves that. Google doesn't really care about how many views you have. I, you know, I don't think that matters to them at all. But YouTube, it definitely is a big help if they see more interaction and, and more views. That can be a big help. And then the other thing you can do is pay YouTube themselves, run an ad. You know, you don't have to spend 500 bucks. You spend $5 on YouTube advertising for your video, you're going to get, you know, at least probably a couple hundred views at the very least. You may even get people that buy your product. So instead of, you know, in the old days, we used to pay somebody on Fiverr to just give us lots of views or pay one of those softwares to do, give us lots of views. Well, guess what? Nobody that gives you those views is going to buy your product. When you run the advertising, you know, you, you may think of it as, oh, I'm just going to try and get a bunch of views, which will help it to rank better. Uh, but the views are going to be from people that are at least mildly interested in what you're talking about, so they may buy it. Mm-hmm. So now you're getting all these views, and you're quote-unquote paying for them, but somebody bought the product, so it was all free. didn't cost you anything at that point. You made money doing that. So that's a, a, a great way to get views. Um, as Daryl Eves used to say, you, you got to get those views in the first 24 to 48 hours, and we're not talking thousands. you just got to get a couple hundred views on those because that's going to show them, oh, okay, people – care about this content so it's going to rank now if it's a, it's not a very hard keyword you probably don't have to do all of that um, but it can definitely be a big help if you get those views at the beginning it'll help to rank it up and keep it up there so uh, definitely something that you can do is to get those views go out and pay for them if you have to and that's going to be a big help uh, other than that make sure you go out and ask your friends and family share it on facebook you know, literally share it on Facebook and say, hey, can you guys watch this? Uh, check and see if there are any groups that it makes sense to put it in. Put it in those groups where people are more likely to watch it. We actually have a, a Facebook group devoted, originally at least, devoted to sharing videos so that others will go and watch them and comment on them. So, you know, be sure to use things like that because all of that interaction is going to help. If you can get comments on there, that's going to help. Um, some things that I like to do once the video is up there is I go into the video and I put a comment on the videos myself. Now, some of you are going to go look at some of mine and go, oh, you didn't do that. Well, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm lazy sometimes, and, and that's true. But realistically, if, if you're doing something that's fairly difficult, you really want to make sure that it ranks well and everything, go in there, put a comment on that video, and pin it to the top. Then make mm-hmm. sure you like that comment. Put, click the heart button on that comment. Um, if you've got other accounts... Log into the other accounts and watch the video, like the video, comment on the video. All of that interaction is going to help in the end, especially on, on YouTube itself. You know, It may not help much on Google, but it's going to help on YouTube at that point. But if you do all of these things that we just talked about, you know, n- notice none of this stuff is black hat. None of this stuff is crazy ninja stuff. It's all normal, interactive things that you can do with your videos to make sure that they're put in the best light so that you can rank them better. And if you do all these things, you've got a much better chance of ranking on Google. You, you probably, you, you know, you've got a great chance of ranking on YouTube. You've got a better chance of ranking on Google at that point because it can be difficult. 
Uh, Google does not rank videos as easily as it used to be. And one thing that, that we've noticed, and, and this is something that you can take a look at, and people have done studies on this, if you ever notice when you go to, you, go, go to Google and type something in, at the very top of Google, it's going to say all, and then it's going to say like uh, shopping, or it's going to say maps, or it's going to say video, or it's going to say photos. Those are the categories that basically that tells you what Google thinks is the most appropriate response item for what's being queried. Because if you think about it, when somebody puts something in the search bar, what they're doing is asking a question. They might put, um, you know, Loganville escape room. But what are they really doing? They're saying, can you tell me, you know, what Loganville escape room to go to is what they're really saying in that situation. So you need to be answering that question. And if you look at the top of Google, they're going to tell you based on that keyword, what they think is the best type of content. So if you type in, you know, how to tie a tie on Google, you're most likely going to see that videos, it'll say all, and then it'll say video, and you'll have a video showing how to tie a tie. Um, if you changed that and said, um, you know, buy a new tie, well, video may not show up in one of those at all. It might be under the more button, but shopping might be there, maps might be there, and that tells you, okay, Google does not believe a video belongs here. Now, mm -hmm. with enough work, you can convince them to get one on there anyway, but you'll be battling uphill and you may lose. But if you do things and you look and, and search a keyword and say, oh, you know what? It shows video in one of those tabs, and the closer it is to the word all, the better. That's saying we think a video would be an important thing to have on page one. So if you do that work, you've got a much greater chance of being on page one with that. So be sure to do that kind of research with your keywords and see what Google thinks. If they don't think a video belongs there, it's going to be a tougher battle. Yeah. Yeah. Good but point. if you do all of these things, you can be successful. Um, you know, getting, getting a video onto Google is an exciting thing. It's a good thing. It can be very helpful. But don't forget that just getting it on YouTube is going to be massive, even if you don't get to Google. But do everything you can to put your videos in the best light so that they show up in more places. And you may find that you're going to start showing up for weird keywords you didn't think of that may have some, some people behind it. So get out there. Do everything you can to rank it well. Uh, use some of the tools that we talked about because they can be very helpful. Like I said, right now, uh, I've been messing around with Josh's software, the new version, and been very delighted by what I've gotten out of it so far. Uh, and you can check that out again, raythevideoguide.com slash DFY3 for Done For You 3. Uh, and the reason, by the way, it's called Done For You when it's a social syndication tool is because you don't have to do anything. Um, it, it'll automatically pull and write articles for you that are appropriate and whatnot, so you don't have to do any of that work. You literally put in your link that you want, the keyword that you want, hit a couple buttons, and it just does it. You don't have to sit there and type things out and spend a half hour on, on each one. It, it's done in seconds. So that's why it's called DFY, because they do all that work for you, including the private blog networks. They have those in there automatically, yeah. so you don't have to deal with that. But 33 bucks. Whew. I looked 33 it up. bucks right now. Well, it might be, might be 37 now. It's supposed to go up. So. No, no, it said 33 when I, I just looked at it. So, okay. Oh, good, mm -hmm. good. Well, it's, it, it's going to go up in the next day or so to yeah. 37, I believe. So get said in there now, days. early bird. Your, your counter said four days. Uh, four days until it goes up to the real price, but it's, it's going to go up to 37 like today, tonight. Oh, I or, see. Okay. Or tomorrow. All right. So, so, and then it'll sit so there for the quit contradicting days. you then? Is what you That's say. right. Quit contradicting yeah. me, you son of a gun. <laughs> The real, the real, the real sale price is thirty-seven, but because they did the webinar at the beginning and, and they have a couple of hours where it's going to be thirty-three, just for a short time, supposedly. But we'll see. Maybe it'll stay there for a while. For you lunch. need to get it. By the way, you need to get a new desk. You were kind of jumping around. I know. I know. You got to love this. If I touch my desk, it yeah, wobbles yeah. everything. <laughs> and something else I found is that back when and we'll get back to this again doing the shows weekly we've we've been through about a six month period where ray was either yeah, busy yeah it's been on and off and tech issues on and, and off and he had tech else. issues oh, and this is why we moved it to thursdays because he's more open on thursdays yeah but when we were doing easier day i think when we were doing the shows weekly all of a sudden i started noticing we were getting 250 500 2500 views every week on our on the, the on the video I upload to YouTube and I, I I thought okay are we ranking for anything no we weren't ranking 
are <laughs> is it subscribers? Yeah, maybe, but you know, Could we got f- 350 subscribers and we were getting 2500 views, you know. We hit the yeah, we, we hit the we hit the Google algorithm. They saw that yeah. we were serious about it and they started recommending us. Yeah, and we should really work on that whole YouTube thing cuz realistically and and it's kind of sad cuz we talk about video and video ranking and YouTube and everything. Really, it's kind of just an afterthought. It's like, oh, we got these videos. We'll just throw them up there every week. Yeah, it's a repository you know, done, almost. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So we should probably go in there and, and do put, put in some actual effort into it on, on the marketing side. I bet we'd probably get a, a ton of people watching. So. Yeah, yeah, but you know, just not you know, just uploading them and optimizing them. Uh, and and that that's you know. that's a big factor. Uh, there are many, there are many very big, very powerful, very popular YouTube channels. They don't do crap for their SEO on there. You know, they do a terrible job. But because they've had so much content, people have watched it for years. It doesn't matter. You know, they just they don't need to. Do oh, I, I I see guys that barely. I mean, they one guy does take the time to write a description. Okay, but uh, and these these are guys that walk around with like a GoPro doing travel videos, and they just got a right. handheld GoPro, and that's it. Yeah, yeah. Five hundred thousand views each time they upload something. Yeah, it's and, crazy. It, you know, it's just that you get noticed in that established niche, and you don't have to put the effort into that kind of stuff. Like you know, a local plumber is never going to reach that, so you have to do that kind of stuff. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, but some of these popular ones, I mean, you know, I don't well, think Rhett and Link do a, a great job, and they get millions and millions of views. Who's that? Rhett and Link don't uh, oh, don't okay, do a ton yeah, of yeah. you know their marketing on on YouTube that they probably should, but. Uh, they don't need to. They don't need get a lot more views than we do. <laughs> yeah. So, but yeah. I guess if we compared Wendy's to McDonald's, we'd probably get a lot more views as well. So. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Maybe. Very we'll cool. Okay. Good show. Yeah. We you, you haven't done a ranking vid show in quite a few years. So yeah. It's it's nice. been a while since yeah. we've done one, and uh, you know I think it's good to get back to. Yeah. Because even I had kind of given up on it a little bit, you know, just because it was getting too crazy and too difficult. And well, like, yeah, it's. The videos are are very effective in certain niches, and uh, if 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 you if, if you've got a how to video and you're doing that for a plumber, uh, yeah, it's going to do pretty well. Uh, and the other thing is, even even if there, it's too competitive to rank, you're still getting that authority if if you do what Ray just said because you're optimizing it correctly. You know, yep. you're getting the authority sp- for your website, your GMB, whatever. You know. And speaking of authority, Steve, who is the authority when it comes to stock media? Well, I'll tell you. Envato it's Elements. Envato. Envato. And that's right. And the Envato Elements program is a great way to get all the stock media that you need. And they are the great company that makes today's episode possible. And so if you want to get stock media like pictures and videos and music and sound effects and and uh, uh, website templates and video templates, you got to head over to Elements because you're going to get all of that stuff for a measly, tiny, little $200 per year. That has literally wow. saved me $10,000 in a year because I, I used to spend so much with these guys. So uh, foolish on their part when it comes to me, but I think all the uh, many people that buy that $200 package, well, they make up for my money that I used to spend. Mm-hmm. But uh, it is a great program. I use it in everything that we do from logo design. In fact, uh, let's take a look here. See that little mm-hmm. video marketing madness logo behind me? That was actually a template pulled off of Envato Elements. And, uh, you know, most of the videos that you see, the stock media in there, all comes from Envato Elements. Mm -hmm. And it's uh, made me a heck of a lot more than the $200 I've spent, that's for darn sure. Mm -hmm. So if you want to be able to get all the stock media that you need so you can be more creative, more experimental with your videos, make them look more professional, then head on over to Envato Elements by way of raythevideoguy.com slash elements, and you'll be able to sign up today and start getting all that great content. All right, with that, Steve, another episode in the bag. Headed over to the Podcast Hall of Fame. Uh, anything you want to say before I cut you off? Yeah, that's about it. I okay, think I got great. It. Well, we'll see you next week. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> All right, just kidding. Let's hit that music. We'll see you guys next week. He's Ray the Video Guy, yeah, Ray the Video Guy. His skill is where it's at, even if he 
He's a little fat. He's filled with video expertise. And has so much knowledge that you need. His YouTube ninja tricks can make your marketing so sick. He's Ray the Video Guy. Yeah, Ray the Video Guy.